Horrid Henry and the Bogey Babysitter by Francesca Simon Read by Miranda Richardson Horrid Henry Tricks and Treats Ha <laughs> ha Halloween! Oh, happy, happy day! Every year, Horrid Henry could not believe it. An entire day devoted to stuffing your face with sweets and playing horrid tricks. Best of all, you were supposed to stuff your face and play horrid tricks. Whoopee! Horrid Henry was armed and ready. He had loo roll. He had water pistols. He had shaving foam. Oh my, would he be playing tricks tonight. Anyone who didn't instantly hand over a fistful of sweets would get it with the foam. And woe betide any fool who gave him an apple. Horrid Henry knew how to treat rotten grown-ups like that. His red and black devil costume lay ready on the bed, complete with evil mask, twinkling horns, trident and whippy tail. He'd scare everyone wearing that. Ha, 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 said Horrid Henry, practising his evil laugh. Henry, came a little voice outside his bedroom door. Come and see my new costume. No, said Henry. Oh, please, Henry, said his younger brother, perfect Peter. No, said Henry, I'm busy. You're just jealous because my costume is nicer than yours, said Peter. I'm not. Are too. Come to think of it, what was Peter wearing? Last year, he'd copied Henry's monster costume and ruined Henry's Halloween. What if he were copying Henry's devil costume? That would be just like that horrible little copycat. All right, you can come in for two seconds, said Henry. A big, pink, bouncy bunny bounded into Henry's room. It had little white bunny ears. It had a little white bunny tail. It had pink polka dots everywhere else. Horrid Henry groaned. What a stupid costume! Thank goodness he wasn't wearing it. Isn't it great? said Perfect Peter. No, said Henry. It's horrible. You're just saying that to be mean, Henry, said Peter, bouncing up and down. I can't wait to go trick-or-treating in it tonight. Oh, no. (coughs) Horrid Henry felt as if he'd been punched in the stomach. Henry would be expected to go out trick-or-treating with Peter. He, Henry, would have to walk around with a pink polka dot bunny. Everyone would see him. The shame of it. Rude Ralph would never stop teasing him. Moody Margaret would call him a bunny bunny. How could he play tricks on people with a pink polka dot bunny following him everywhere? He was ruined. His name would be a joke. You can't wear that, said Henry desperately. Yes, I can, said Peter. I won't let you, said Henry. Perfect Peter looked at Henry. You're just jealous. (laughs) Horrid Henry was about to tear that stupid costume off Peter when suddenly he had an idea. It was painful. It was humiliating. But anything was better than having Peter prancing about in pink polka dots. Tell you what, said Henry, just because I'm so nice, I'll let you borrow my monster costume. You've always wanted to wear it. No, said Peter, I want to be a bunny. But you're supposed to be scary for Halloween, said Henry. I am scary, said Peter. I'm going to bounce up to people and yell, 
Ooh. I can make you really scary, Peter, said Horrid Henry. How? said Peter. Sit down and I'll show you. Henry patted his desk chair. What are you going to do? said Peter suspiciously. He took a step back. Nothing, said Henry. I'm just trying to help you. Perfect Peter didn't move. How can I be scarier? he said cautiously. I'll give you a scary haircut, said Henry. Perfect Peter clutched his curls. But I like my hair, he said feebly. This is Halloween, said Henry. Do you want to be scary or don't you? Um, um, uh, said Peter, as Henry pushed him down in the chair and got out the scissors. Not too much, squealed Peter. Of course not, said Horrid Henry. Just sit back and relax. I promise you'll love this. Horrid Henry twirled the scissors. Snip, 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 snip. Magnificent, thought Horrid Henry. He gazed proudly at his work. Maybe he should be a hairdresser when he grew up. Yes, Henry could see it now. Customers would queue for miles for one of Monsieur Henri's scary snips. Shame his genius was wasted on someone as yucky as Peter. Still, you look great, Peter, said Henry. Really scary. Atomic bunny. Go and have a look. Peter went over and looked in the mirror. Scared yourself, did you? said Henry. That's great. Ah! Howled Peter. Mum ran into the room. Ah! Howled Mum. Ah! Howled Peter. Henry! screeched Mum. What have you done? You horrid, horrid boy! What was left of Peter's hair stuck up in ragged tufts all over his head. On one side was a big bald patch. I was just making him look scary, protested Henry. He said I could. Henry made me, said Peter. My poor baby, said Mum. She glared at Henry. No trick-or-treating for you, said Mum. You'll stay here. Horrid Henry could hardly believe his ears. This was the worst thing that had ever happened to him. No! howled Henry. This was all Peter's fault. I hate you, Peter, he screeched. Then he attacked. He was Medusa, coiling round her victim with her sneaky hair. Ah! Screeched Peter. Henry, shouted Mum, go to your room. <coughs> Mum and Peter left the house to go trick-or-treating. Henry had screamed and sobbed and begged. He'd put on his devil costume just in case his tears melted their stony hearts. But no, his mean, horrible parents wouldn't change their minds. Well, they'd be sorry. They'd all be sorry. Dad came into the sitting room. He was holding a large shopping bag. Henry, I've got some work to finish, so I'm going to let you hand out treats to any trick-or-treaters. Horrid Henry stopped plotting his revenge. Had Dad gone mad? Hand out treats? What kind of punishment was this? Horrid Henry fought to keep a big smile off his face. Here's the Halloween stuff, Henry, said Dad. He handed Henry the heavy bag. But remember, he added sternly, these treats are not for you. They're to give away. Yeah, right, thought Henry. OK, Dad, he said as meekly as he could. Whatever you say. Dad went back to the kitchen. Now was his chance. Horrid Henry leapt on the bag. Wow, was it full. He'd grab all the good stuff, throw back anything yucky with lime or peppermint, and he'd have enough sweets to keep him going for at least a week. Henry yanked open the bag. A terrible sight met his eyes. 
The bag was full of satsumas and apples and walnuts in their shells. No wonder his horrible parents had trusted him to be in charge of it. Ding dong! Slowly, Horrid Henry heaved his heavy bones to the door. There was his empty, useless trick-or-treat bag sitting forlornly by the entrance. Henry gave it a kick, then opened the door and glared. What do you want? snapped Horrid Henry. Trick-or-treat, whispered Weepy William. He was dressed as a pirate. Horrid Henry held out the bag of horrors. Lucky dip, he announced. Close your eyes for a big surprise. William certainly would be surprised at what a rotten treat he'd be getting. Weepy William put down his swag bag, closed his eyes tight, then plunged his hand into Henry's lucky dip. He rummaged and he rummaged and he rummaged, hoping to find something better than Satsuma's. Horrid Henry eyed Weepy William's bulging swag bag. Go on, Henry, urged the bag. He'll never notice. Horrid Henry did not wait to be asked twice. Dip, <coughs> zip, <coughs> pop. Horrid Henry grabbed a big handful of William's sweets and popped them inside his empty bag. <coughs> Weepy William opened his eyes. Did you take some of my sweets? No, said Henry. William peeked inside his bag and burst into tears. <laughs> Wailed William. Henry took... Henry pushed him out and slammed the door. Dad came running. What's wrong? Nothing, said Henry. Just William crying because he's scared of pumpkins. Phew. Thought Henry, that was close. Perhaps he had been a little too greedy. Ding dong. It was Lazy Linda wearing a pillowcase over her head. Gorgeous Gorinda was with her dressed as a scarecrow. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Uh, close your eyes for a big surprise, said Henry, holding out the lucky dip bag. Ooh, a lucky dip, squealed Linda. Lazy Linda and Gorgeous Gorinda put down their bags, closed their eyes, and reached into the lucky dip. Dip, <coughs> zip, <coughs> pop, <coughs> dip, <coughs> zip, <coughs> pop. Lazy Linda opened her eyes. You give the worst treats ever, Henry, said Linda, gazing at her walnut in disgust. We won't be coming back here, sniffed gorgeous Gorinda. Tee, <coughs> thought horrid Henry. Ding dong! It was Beefy Bert. He was wearing a robot costume. Hi, Bert. Got any good sweets? asked Henry. I don't know, said Beefy Bert. Horrid Henry soon found out that he did. Lots and lots and lots of them. So did Moody Margaret, Sour Susan, Jolly Josh and Tidy Ted. Soon. Henry's bag was stuffed with treats. Ding dong! Horrid Henry opened the door. Boo, said Atomic Bunny. Henry's sweet bag, help! Mum would see it! Eek! screeched Horrid Henry. Help! Save me! Quickly, he ran upstairs, clutching his bag, and hid it safely under his bed. Phew, that was close. Don't be scared, Henry. It's only me, called Perfect Peter. Horrid Henry came back downstairs. No, said Henry. I'd never have known. Really, said Peter. Really, said Henry. Everyone just gave sweets this year, said Perfect Peter. Yuck. Horrid Henry held out the lucky dip. Ooh, a satsuma, said Peter. Aren't I lucky? I hope you've learned your lesson, Henry, said Mum sternly. I certainly have, said Horrid Henry.
eyeing perfect Peter's bulging bag. Good things come to those who wait. Ha <laughs> ha!